Aquaquilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Emily's in the house, how are you, dear? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Good, are you getting loving the fall weather and being out in the fresh air and sunshine? Loving it, sweater weather is my favorite time of year, period. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. All right, where is everyone watching from today? Okay, Jackie is watching from Puyallup, Washington. Jackie, did you go to the State Fair and did you eat scones? really what we want to know. Awesome. People from all over, people from New York and Florida and Canada, thanks so much for joining us today. All right, quilters, let's take a look at some of the photos from the intro video. Okay, first up is this amazing creative project from Decorative Stitch. And Emily, did you know that. what dye that is that they used? Uh, I believe that that's the Storm at Sea. It is the Storm at Sea and it does not look at all like Storm at Sea, does it? Because it's just that different colorway. Yeah, I had a hard time figuring it out because there's just so many fun things that are going on in there and textures and colors, it's just so cool. So pretty, and I feel like some of them on the uh, ladder like you could make with the cube or Dresden plate or something, how fun. Absolutely. All right, next up is this darling project from Simple Southern Comfort and their Instagram page. Okay, just a whole bunch of hexagons. Mm. Look at how fun that is. What a great way to use up your scraps and use that hexagon. Absolutely. And finally is this stunning quote from the Little Red Hen, uh, Raquel's Instagram page. So. Emily, these are just nine patches, just for days, squares and nine patches. I just think that's so cool. And this is where one of those examples where it just goes to show you, you can take the simplest shapes and make the most amazing quilts. Right, and it's scrappy, good job. All right, quilters, if you want the chance to have a fe project featured on our countdown video, just post, post uh, your picture on one of our social media platforms. Okay, you ready for the photo of the day? Here's the photo of the day. So this is my Mason and our Emily, not to be confused with Emily here, though <laughs> they do look very much alike. Um, and yes, they are on our roof. Um, Mason is a photographer and he does lots of that kind of thing. And on our roof is one of their favorite places to take pictures. Okay, just saying. So, but it was the last year, it came up on my Instagram feed last year around this time. So the question of the day, since we're talking about the weather vein dye is, what is your favorite season? So Emily, what's your favorite season? I mean, mine's gotta be fall, cause yeah. Halloween and then you've got Thanksgiving. Right. Like, the two best holidays out of the year. Right, and somewhere <laughs> in there, there's some football and those oh, yeah. kind of things. <laughs> Okay, so I love summer because I love to be outside in the outdoor pool. Um, I hate super hot days, but if I can be out in the outdoor pool, that's kind of my favorite. So I would have to say summer heading towards fall. Absolutely. Because I do love Halloween, all right? <laughs> so quilters in the comment section, tell us what is your favorite season of the year? All right, today we're gonna show you how to use the new Go Weather Vane die. The quilt behind Emily is the Go Weather Vane Baby Quilt, and it is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Behind me is Go Chromatic, Monochromatic Weather Vane, I think. Somebody will find the name of it. Um, <laughs> Stephanie Jacobson designed it. It's also a free pattern. Okay, it's Wednesday, so we have a promo for you. Uh, buy two. Get one free on go dies, cubes. Cubes are back in stock. We've been out of stock in some of our cubes for a while. And accessories, the code you wanna use is three, the number three, for me. So the number three, F-O-R-M-E. Mm -hmm. And Emily, if they spend more than $400, what do they get? They're gonna get a free go me. We are gonna give you a free go me. We're gonna very lovingly put it in your box, okay? <laughs> All right, it is October. Um, before we talk about the October dye to try, it is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, so all the month long on Wednesdays, I'll be wearing pink. A reminder, get a mammogram. For those of you who don't know, I'm a breast cancer survivor uh, five years ago. So um, everybody get a mammogram, just a reminder. All right, yesterday we le released our October dye to try. It is the Go Cornucopia dye. It finishes to 10 inches and it is a bob die. Now listen, they haven't changed the price yet. So you can still get it today for $64.99, saving you $24, okay? 
So yesterday was a great show. Um, we kind of talked to some uh, ways to sew that block together. And it's the die we're gonna showcase next Wednesday. So if you get your die today, they will ship it and then you will have it for Wednesday, right, Emily? Yep. Uh, for our show next Wednesday. Sure will. Today I'm gonna give away one of our new Go Weather Vane dies. Be sure to uh, share this video on your personal Facebook page for the chance to win, and we're gonna announce the winner at the end of our show. Mm -hmm. Now, Emily, we had a little bundle yesterday with our Go Big, right? We do, so it's the Go Big Cornucopia Starter Pack. Okay. And it's a value of $809. Okay. We're gonna give it to you for $599.99. Right, so if you're looking to upgrade to that Go Big, today is a great day to do that. You get the flying geese die, the six by 12 mat, the new cornucopia die, and the six by 24 mat, okay? Sure Our go bigs were out of stock for a while. So while things are still in stock, boy, you wanna make sure you jump on that, okay? All right, so let's talk about our newest lock on board or bob die. So a bob die means all the pieces you need to make one block are on the die board. So look at this fun little block, Emily. Isn't that so pretty? So sweet, and it's my favorite color, purple. Yeah, see, look at that. Love look at it. us doing that, okay? So it's on a six by 24 die board, which means it will fit through all of our Go Cutters, including that Go Me. So spend $400 today, we're gonna give you a free Go Me. This will fit through it. Now you wanna make sure that you have the six by 24 cutting mat. Emily, sometimes um, our customers think they can use that 10 by 24 cutting mat. Mm -hmm. Why is that not a good idea? You know, you're gonna get some slippage. It might warp while you're going through the cutter. It's just not gonna give you that, that perfect seamless yes. trip through it's the cutter. It's gonna shift. It's gonna be all sorts of wonky. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have a six by 24 cutting mat. Now, again, um, you're gonna notice that all of the pieces are screen printed. That is so you can keep track of your pieces and how to place them out in your block. Now, also, all of our shapes have that um, specialized dog ears, and look, that quarter inch seam allowance. So from here to here is that perfect quarter inch seam right there. Those dog ears, it really makes a difference, okay? That will allow the block to finish perfectly to an eight inch block. So it work, will work with other blocks made from the Go Cube Mix and Match 8-inch block, which is back in stock, right, it Emily? Is. It okay. sure is. And you could also turn this block on point and use our 8-inch setting triangles to create different shapes, okay? So, Emily, um, so today if they're getting that, any of our cubes are 4, 6, 8, 9-inch cubes, and the companions, what's the deal? Yep, so um, you're going to save $139 if you buy the cube and then the two companion sets. You're Excellent. going to get one of those free. Excellent, and we're going to ship it to you free. Sure are. All right. All right, so Mr. Brock, thank you, Brock. All right, now this um, is a perfect project. Maybe you have an upcoming baby shower. Okay, or you could totally change the colorway for a completely different look. You can use our free um, program called Go Quilt. It's available at AccuQuilt.com and it allows you to change the colorway of thousands of patterns. So I could totally see this project in patriotic colors. Today we're gonna make it out of orange so it's gonna kind of look like fall or even a winter wonderland. That. So think about the colors. You love purple, you could do it in all sorts of scrappy purples. Absolutely. Right, wouldn't that be fun? Love all right. That. Hey, join us next Tuesday, which is all gonna be my favorite event of the year. It's all about Halloween. It's called Everything is Spooky or something. Oh, everybody gets spooky. There we go, I can read all the words. <laughs> um, why do they want to register for this event, Emily? Yeah, because you're gonna be registered to win all of the fun prizes that we give away. Yes, we give away fabric and dyes and so many fun things. So be sure to register for the chance to win. <laughs> and don't forget to share because I'm gonna give away one of our Go Weather Vane dyes. Mm -hmm. um, share it to your personal Facebook page and Emily's gonna announce the winner at the end of our show. Sure will. All right, quilters. So first download the free pattern at AccuQuilt.com and read all of the instructions. It's a concept. Next, um, the pattern will tell you how to subcut your fabric. So I have subcut some of my fabric right here. Okay, so shape A is going to be the middle right here, this block right here in the middle. Shape B is the pentagon. 
Um, we have a smaller pentagon on another die. What die is that, quilters? Off the top of my head, I can't think of it. Um, we just released it. I, we'll think about it. Okay, so this is gonna go here, right? And then this is shape C. So you wanna fan fold your fabric so that you get the left and the right here. And then all these little pieces around here are shape D. And notice we've cut off all the dog ears. That's awesome. Now you can always cut six layers of quilting cotton with our dies, but you can also cut other fabrics. So you could do flannel or felt or denim or wool or minky. Be sure to cut only one or two of those thicker layers. Or you could use this die as a total stash buster and make the block completely scrappy, okay? And I'm gonna tell you always, always make a test block. How come, Emily, do you know? Well, you know, it's just gonna help you figure out how to sew it properly, make sure you're pressing your seams correctly, just it, best practices, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Make sure you know how to press your seams, all of the pieces, okay? All right, so um, we're gonna have the lengthwise grain go parallel to these blades. I like to tell quilters that label at your belly lengthwise grain, that way you can um, keep track of your pieces, okay? So here we go, I'm just gonna cover shape A and B. Look how I've just fan folded my fabric. The cutting instructions are gonna tell you to measure from here to here and add a quarter of an inch on either side. And then you can just rough cut uh, with the fabric. Love that. Okay, and then here's that shape C and shape D. Okay, Emily, before I cut, tell us what are people's favorite season? Yeah, um, they are, we're, Debbie loves summer, Diane is fall, Monica also loves fall. Janet is, you know, a little bit of both fall and spring. Um, okay. And Brenda, oh, her birthday is Halloween, so she likes that best. Brenda, happy birthday to you early. How on fun our favorite holiday there. I feel that? like if you live in Florida, you're going to tell us that like winter is your favorite holiday, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. Right. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Pam, um, Gwen and Miriam actually want to know if this has Y seams in it at all. So, Emily, what's the answer to that? I don't believe it does. No, it does not. So look right here. I'm sure they're looking. Right here in this corner, you're saying to yourself, ooh, I bet there's Y seams. It is not. It's actually um, two pieces that we've sewn together like I this. That. Now, I, I know that, you know, being a newbie, this might be a silly question, but can you break down a Y seam for me, Pam? I can. I can, I can. So a Y seam means... A Y seam means that, let's say this was a shape that, um, here, we can do it this way. Let's say this was a square. Okay. okay? It wasn't two half squares triangles sewn together. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to sew these two pieces together, these two pieces together, and then it's going to leave a little space right here for the square, right? So what you would do with a Y seam, and next week when we talk about the cornucopia, we're going to go step by step on how to sew Y seams. Oh, I love that. So you would measure and stop a quarter of an inch and mark it, and then a quarter of an inch here where you sewed the pieces together, because what you're going to do is you're going to lay this piece like this, sew it, turn it, and sew it the other side, and then it sets in there. That. So yesterday, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms. Um, they also, you can go back and watch them, right? Over and over and over again. Absolutely. So yesterday, for those of you who are wondering how to do Y seams, go back and watch yesterday's video because Kelly Ashton goes through step by step by step by step on how to mark and sew Y seams. Love that. It's brilliant, okay? And then t next week, not tomorrow, Next week, we're going to sew the cornucopia die and, or block, and I'm going to show you how to do those Y seams. Fabulous. Okay? That is a great question, though, because I feel like sometimes people are scared of Y seams. Don't be scared. Y seams are not hard. You just have to practice them. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to lay out some of my pieces. I'm going to use a 6 by 24 cutting mat. All right, Emily, while I cut, tell us what is people's favorite season. Yeah, so we've got Bonnie and Jackie saying fall. Dorothy emphatically says summer. 
Um, but a lot of a lot of fall favorites. A lot of today. fall. Yes, I think we've got some fellow turkey lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, Carol says, though, that her favorite season is summer because you don't have to bother with a coat. Oh, okay. I want you to know my favorite season is summer because you don't have to barely cover with shoes. Like, just flip-flops will Absolutely. work. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. All right. I, okay. I hate when I have to put on socks. That really, <laughs> for me, is hard. Okay, notice I gave that mat a little love, and then I slide that mat. Don't lift. If you lift... What happens is the pieces will stick to the cutting mat, and that's not really what you want. Okay? So look at this. Okay? So make sure you lay out your block so that you're sewing things in the correct order. So I've already started to sew some pieces so that you can see um, how this is all going to work. So I'm just going to lay them out here. Okay? And then look, see, look, we have half square triangles, not um, there they are. Y seams, okay? All right. And then, so we're going to start right here, okay? Let's see. There we go. All right. And we're going to do the same. So what you want to make sure when you're sewing these is that you're gonna sew them the same, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them like this so that you can see how we're gonna piece them together. So basically you're creating opposite mirrored images, okay? okay. So here we go and here we go. So you're gonna start here at the top, okay? And you're gonna know that it's gonna work because when I lay this piece here, Look how it, we've cut off the dog ears. So this is perfectly how it's going to fit, right? So the same thing I'm going to do right here, okay? And I'm just going to sew those pieces, all right? So again, you might think this um, block has white seams. It has none. So it is a great die for a beginner quilter who wants to showcase their um, sewing skills, right? Because then it looks fancy Absolutely. okay all right so why I sewed these two pieces Emily will you tell us about our blog because we have a blog yeah we sure do so our blog is a great place to find exclusive patterns um, tips and tricks from our go-getters who are you know avid AccuQuilt users and our advocates here um, for AccuQuilt um, and it's a great place to you know chat with fellow quilters get your questions answered and find out a lot more about our AccuQuilt quilt products. That's right. All right, so we're going to start by sewing um, two of these shapes, which are shape D, to either side of shape C. So look there in the graphics, okay? So this is a great, you know how I love to chain piece. So I would have done all of the shapes, right? All of the shape C's to all of the shape um, D's. Sure. Because then you're, then you're good. Okay, and I'm going to tell you to press your seams open. Hey, don't forget, we have this little shovel iron and our mat. They're all on our website. You can get you some today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Emily, we should probably tell everybody. So last week, we kind of read through the comments, right? Because people were telling us what size cube you should get. Yes. And the, uh, pretty much this, the really overwhelming answer was the 8-inch cube. I believe it was. Yep. yep. So that ready, set, go is perfect for you. Awesome. Right? Because it comes with that 8-inch cube and the 2.5-inch strip die. Okay. Absolutely. And that's going to be perfect for jelly rolls, right? Jelly rolls. Look at you knowing some of the words. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. So now we want to make sure, see how they're going to go the same direction. Okay. So here's this and here's this. See how they're all going the same direction. So sew the one to the top first. And then we're gonna sew the one to the bottom next. And it's gonna work because we've sewn a quarter inch seam allowance, all right? So, oh, if Erica were here, she would pin, but she is not. So we're, we're not gonna worry about that. 
Absolutely. I do pins more often now that I've been hanging out with Erica. <laughs> All right, so why I'm sewing these, where, what is people's favorite season? Yes, absolutely. So we've got um, Jen, who loves fall, the beautiful leaves, sweatshirts, and jeans. Can't get better than that. There you go. Um, Karen also loves fall because orange is her favorite color, so all that oh. fall decor is just perfect. Yes, yeah. you should totally be doing that. Absolutely. And then Tammy, um, and apparently, you know, fall in South Texas, it cools off to the 70s and 80s. So, you know. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Perfect weather. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? Absolutely. Fall in a nice place. Phyllis says fall in Las Vegas is quite pleasant as well. Oh, I bet. I bet. Have you ever been to Vegas? I have been to Vegas many a time. Have you? I would mm. love to go. I've still never been. You've never been to Vegas? No, it's on my bucket list. Oh, now. listen. Um, I have been to Vegas several times, and then I have a sister who lives in St. George, Utah, so you can fly nonstop to Vegas, and then we just rent a car and, and drive to Betsy's house, oh, um, which is about a two-hour drive. Um, if you have not been to St. George, Utah, it is truly one of the most beautiful places on earth, Aww. so you should totally do that, Love okay? That. All right, so now, all right. See how my pieces are just going together? Mm -hmm. Look at that, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to sew these together to create a square, okay? So again, that um, chain piece is gonna work in just great. Love that. I was thinking, you know, we were talking about summer. I love summer because, gosh, you can go to baseball games and you can go outside and Absolutely. We have neighbors that I swear play cornhole every day of the summer. Love that. They're so fun. And I've been doing a lot of kayaking this summer since the weather's been so lovely. It's just, there's so many fun things to do in the summertime. Yeah. Oh, Jackie just, says that she um, feeds wild turkeys all summer at her house. Oh my gosh, Jackie. <laughs> That is, I think that's so sweet. That is fabulous. Good job. Good job. That's so fun. Okay, do you eat them in the fall? <laughs> it's like I lure mean, them they in. like wild turkeys and then you hunt them in the fall for yeah. Thanksgiving? Bring them in, false sense of yeah. security. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so notice how I'm just pressing my seams. I'm just going to press them open here. I've, I'm surprised nobody has said spring because here in Nebraska, boy, by about February, I am super tired of winter. Well, Joanne does say spring and summer because she can work in her flower gardens. Yes. I have a couple more springs. Barbara loves spring with all the new flowers and baby animals. Yes. You saw some baby animals over the weekend. I did. I got to meet baby cows over the weekend. They're super cute. They were so sweet. One of them was just, you know, just had his nose right in my hands and was letting me pat him. He was so sweet. I love it. I love it. I just love cows. <laughs> They're just so cute. They are. Okay, so here you go. All right. So I am just pressing my seams open because it's just, you're just gonna have a bunch of bulk. Okay, so look, ta-da! My edges are sewn together, okay? So now we're gonna sew the next shape. Um, this is that pentagon shape. Okay. Okay. Um, this. And Pam, Diane actually has a question for you. Yes, Diane. Um, so she's thinking of getting the cornucopia dye, but seems really similar to Courtyard and Lemoyne Bobs. Any yes. thoughts on this? What's the cornucopia's finish block size? 10 inches. So it will work with the courthouse dye and the pineapple dye and the chimney sweep dye. Yes. Or the 10 inch cube. Today, 10 inch cube and companions, you're gonna get one of the companions free if you buy them both. Mm -hmm. And we even have a bundle um, with the 10 inch Bob bundle for the cornucopia, the, oh, yes. the courtyard, the chimney sweep, and it comes with the six by 12 and the six by 24 cutting mats. And what is that price? This guy is $279.99 right now. Excellent, mm -hmm. there you go. There you go, you ask and it. we're gonna give it to you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna add um, the shape. So this is very similar to like sewing flying geese together. And again, I'm just gonna sit in chain piece. Did you see me almost just fall over here? I just tripped on my own little feet here. Hold on. 
All right. Love this. Oh, hang on, my thread broke. Oh, technical difficulties here. Okay, so why I rethread my machine? Because this is real life in sewing. Absolutely. I'll give you some. Let's see what yeah, people are saying here. Tell us where people are. What their favorite season is. Yeah, Paulette says our mountains are absolutely beautiful right now. More beautiful than I've ever seen. She lives in Colorado and proud of the Rocky Mountains. Oh wow. That would be a gorgeous place to be right yes. now. With the summer, with the leaves changing and the snowtop mountains. Um, so don't... many of my friends are currently in Maine watching the leaves change. Really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. My parents did a road trip on um, to the East Coast a couple years ago. It was a fall foliage tour and that's all they did. Yeah. They just road tripped and looked at the beautiful colors. Yeah. So fun. I was at an event um, in um, uh, somewhere in New York, East, Western New York. Mm -hmm. And um, during this time of year, and it was just breathtaking. And I kind of drove around like I went to Vermont. Okay, because in your head, you think that is so far, it's not. It's just like down the street. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it was just beautiful. And every time I kept going around the corner, I'd say, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. <laughs> and then finally, I thought to myself, okay, stop saying that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so look at our little houses. They're not haunted houses, but they're super cute. So this one, I'm gonna press towards those triangles, okay, just like we do on flying geese. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do all one side and then we'll do the other side, okay? And you need four of them for each block. So do, you know, follow the instructions, do the math and do them all. This is just such an easy, fun block to put together. It's kind of a no-brainer. It's like you could watch Netflix and still put it together. Absolutely. That's my okay. kind of block. I know. Look at um, that. This is funny, Pam. So um, I love this. Ariel says that she actually got married in Vegas by an Elvis and okay, highly my recommend. My friend Paige eloped to Vegas and got married by an Elvis impersonator. I is love that, that not the, I just think that's the best. I do too. My Good job. Seriously. Congratulations, Ariel. Yes. That's amazing. So I'm really surprised by this whole you haven't been to Vegas thing. Holy smokes. <laughs> I know. We're going to have to, maybe we should I, do We, a we show might have to just do that. <laughs> we're going to just do that. Are there any quilt museums in Vegas? I, it doesn't matter. There's way more fun things to do than that in Vegas. <laughs> they are so fun. I love it. They are so fun. Oh, goodness. Uh, we have good friends that live there, and um, we just have a, the best time with them. But Oakley was there. Um, we went um, at the end of summer, so there wasn't a lot of tourists, and we took Oakley and did the whole welcome to Vegas sign, you know. Oh, how fun. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I just want to go for all the restaurants. I've heard the food. Oh, yeah, the food. Unbelievable. The food and the shopping. Okay. All right, so look how we're doing this. We're just doing all of these. Don't forget our promo today is buy two, get one free. Sure is. On Godai's Cubes and Accessories, that code quilters is three, the number three, for me, F-O-R-M-E. Spend more than $400 and we're going to ship you a free Go Me. So, Emily, what if they were doing like um, fall medleys? and Because we have lots of applique shapes, right? Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, say you were looking at the fall medley, the Go Pumpkins, and the Halloween medley. All three of those dies are $59.99. So right. if you get two, you're going to save $59.99. Excellent. Love that. Excellent. And don't forget to share because today I'm going to give away one of our Go Weather Vein dies. Uh, truly, Quilters, it is such an easy block to put together. Okay? Look at how fun that is. All right? I'm going to move this out of the way because we're not going to cut anymore. Okay? So don't forget to uh, share. And Emily's going to announce the winner at the end of our show. Okay, so notice, now we're going to sew these rows together, okay? If I wasn't talking, we could have done this like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> we could have been done. Okay, so I'm going to line it up, and 
I'm going to continue to sew. Okay, Emily, what is everybody's favorite seasons? Yes, uh, Terry says, I grew up in Washington and each change of season is my favorite. Each season has things I love. Which... Yeah, I grew up in Washington State too and I'm, I'm right there with her. Absolutely. I, and I can tell you that it's a good thing we moved to Nebraska because I do not eat apples from the grocery store. Right. Because I grew up where you could, you know, pick fresh apples and stuff, which you can do here in Nebraska. Absolutely. Actually, we did that this uh, weekend at the at the farm where I got to see the baby cows. Yes. They had a couple of apple trees with, you know, some honey crisp and some oh, green apples. and That's so delicious. Just pick them right off the tree. It was just delicious. Yep. Just so fun. Absolutely. Helen Roberts, who is in the UK, says Hi, that Helen. autumn is her favorite season. Oh, I do miss the UK. Have you been to London or anywhere in the UK, Emily? Um, I've not been to the UK. I've been to France um, on an exchange uh, program back in high school. And it was just, I would love to go back there. It was just an amazing place to wow. be. Wow. Yeah. I need to go to France as an exchange student. The food. The food in France is amazing. Absolutely. I tried frog legs for the first time there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They were, you know what? They do taste like chicken, I'm telling you. It's all about the chicken, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to lay out our blocks so we know which way we're going here. Absolutely. Okay, and see, this is why we lay them out. Okay, and then we're going to finish here. And then when I press these quilters, I'm going to press my rows in opposite directions so that they um, nest. Okay? Gotcha. All right. So these seams were pressed open for this particular right. block. Yep, we pressed the seams open for um, the pieces, and then we're going to press them in opposite directions so they nest. Gotcha. And I'm going to tell you, quilters, I love my little shovel iron when I'm making little blocks like this, because then you know I can just press my seam fingers, you know, seams open. Um, but when I'm done with my block, I give it a really good press with my big iron. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Love. here we go. Let's see what else we've got here. All this makes me want to go pick apples now. I know, right? This is what happens when we leave the show. We just think, oh, this is what we should be doing. Okay. And if you live in Nebraska, okay, Renza now has cinnamon rolls and chili, <laughs> which is, I think, a Nebraska thing. I've never, I never heard of it until I moved here. I completely agree, yeah. Do you think it's a Nebraska thing, guys? Do you think it's just Nebraska? All the guys are shaking their head, yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. <laughs> All right. Look at this. this. Look at how fun. Okay, so I'm going to just press... Um, this one, I'm going to press towards the center, and then I'll press away on the other one, and then that way my pieces will nest. Pam, this is fun. We've got more and more folks that are also saying that they got married in Vegas. One person said that they, that they got married with a kiss impersonator. With a kiss, like the like real the band, kiss? yeah, like Gene Simmons impersonator, like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think that is so cool. I love this. I just love this. I, I lo who knew that your favorite season would lead to I got married in Vegas? Seriously, I, I know. Need to, I need to find myself somebody that I can just go get hitched real quick. There, I mean, just there, like so just much go fun. get hitched in <laughs> Vegas for a hot minute. <laughs> That is the best. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, my friend Paige, she eloped and she got married by an Elvis impersonator, okay? All right, so now I've pressed in opposite directions, so now my seams are going to nest. And in a minute, we'll be done with this top and we'll tell you how to finish off your quilt. Love that. All right, we should keep track of how many people <laughs> got married in Vegas. Absolutely. That is so funny. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, and apparently cinnamon rolls and chili is not just a Nebraska thing. Okay, who Armita, says it's not? Armida says that she grew up in Kansas and that they had them. Okay, so maybe it's a Midwest thing. Could be, yeah, that could be. Because I grew up in Seattle and never did my chili touch my cinnamon roll. But I love cinnamon rolls and I love chili, so. Right. I, I'd in, never seen them together until I came here. Yeah, Pat in Connecticut says she's never heard of this either. <laughs> this is completely foreign. <laughs> yeah. If you live in Nebraska, go to Renza. They have them on sale right now. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. 
So look, I'm just clipping my little pieces. I do love it when I finish a whole block in a AQ Live here. Mm -hmm. All right. And I love the orange. Me too. I that was fun for the holiday. Mm -hmm. Super cute. So quilters, if you were making this block, <laughs> this quilt, you would do exactly what I did, but you would just chain piece like all of these sections and make the little Pentagon houses and then just chain piece those because this is just so easy, such an easy block to put together. And then it just would be perfect for you. Absolutely. Okay. All right, Emily, we're almost done. So tell it, don't so forget to cute. share folks. And Emily, tell us what are people's favorite holiday? Yes. Or right. season. Yeah, season. Let's see here. Um, let's see. I, so, but Debbie says, is it okay if I can't make up my mind? I no, love it's spring. fine. <laughs> I love there's spring. No, <laughs> there's no AccuQuilt police. You can, you can be Ex sitting on the fence there. Exactly. She says she likes that, you know, everything is new in spring. Summer is when yeah. grandkids play in the pool. Fall is all of nature's bounty. And winter when we get snowed in with nothing to do. See, there you go. You know, there you go. <laughs> All right, so hold on here. I'm going to cut some of my strings. Um, next to, so this is kind of fun, which has nothing to do with anything other than Halloween is my all-time favorite holiday, followed then by Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I just love Valentine's Day. I send Valentines to like 60 people, 60 women that I know that I love. Aww. They're just my good friends. Okay, yeah. so ta-da. It's so cute. We have a ta-da. There we go. Good job. Okay. So you would complete the pattern, finish your top, um, you know, give it a good press, right? Mine needs a good press and then all my seams will line up there. And then um, Quilt is Desired, you know, put the top and the batting and the binding or the backing. Quilt is Desired, add that binding, don't forget to miter your corners. Okay. Um, Pam, yes. Tammy has a quick question about, are you nesting the seams on the corners when putting the pieces together or do they automatically line up? They automatically line up. Perfect. Yeah, they do a good job because you, if you're getting that good quarter inch seam. Awesome. And cut that fabric on the lengthwise grain. Yeah. All right, don't forget to join us on Tuesday at 12 noon central time for again, my all time favorite event. It is everybody gets spooky, right? Ooh. It's all about Halloween. And why do they want to register, Miss Emily? So they can win all those fun prizes, the fabrics, the dyes, the cutting mats. All the fun things. All It'll be things. so fun. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, so our promo today, buy two, get one free on go dyes, cubes, and accessories. Use that code three, the number three for me. $400 gets you a free go me. Now, talk to us about maybe, so we've talked about what, fall. Yep. We've talked about the go big in the cornucopia die. Mm -hmm. Get that cornucopia die, right? It's $64.99 right 64 now. $64.99. Yeah. dollars savings. Yep. Okay. And then if you're looking at doing like holiday. Right, for know, winter and stuff. Yep, exactly. Because, you know, those holidays are coming up. You could do the cookie decoration. You could do the gingerbread cookie. And then you could do the cute little gnome because he goes with everything, right? He does. And you, those three. Yeah, and you would get either the cookie decoration or the gingerbread cookie for free because those guys are the same price at $34.99. Excellent, excellent. And then I have a couple of others. So you know, all of our applique shapes have a free embroidery download. It's one of three stitches, a blanket stitch, um, a satin stitch, and a motif. Satin stitch, motif stitch. Oh, all the words have left my head. Uh, but we do have some for purchase embroidery from our good friends at V-Stitch. So um, Emily talked about the gnome die. So here, Justin's gonna get us cute look at how fun he is. So it adds a little um, bell to his hat and it stitches out the buttons. Look at how fun that is, okay? And he talked about cookies and cookie decorations. Look at this. The little cute um, gingerbread girl and the gingerbread boy. Okay. And again, these are from V-Stitch. They're gonna, it's gonna stitch out the icing. I know, look at how fun that is. I just love it. Look at how fun that is. Okay, so if you have an embroidery machine, this is what you do. Okay, this is, I don't know what they call it, but I call it Pam's pickup truck. <laughs> 
Um, and this is another one from our good friends at V Stitch. So the tree is from the holiday medley, right? Uh, nor the Northwood medley? No, this or one this right one? here. Oh, that's right, the holiday, yeah, yes it the is. The holiday medley, so you can go look for your trees. And I love this pickup truck, okay? But if you want to go a little step further and you're still thinking like woodsy things, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is Pam's pickup in the camper die. Look at how fun that is. So very okay, it just tows the little camper. All right, so again, these are four purchase um, embroidery files at V-Stitch. Uh, they're on our website. They're just from V-Stitch. Okay, and then Emily, what is this die? That is going to be the um, it's like sleigh the and sleigh and snowflakes die. Sleigh and snowflakes. So yes. it has Rudolph and the sleigh, and it stitches out um, the presents and the snowflakes and all of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So today, quilters, great day to get those buy two get one free of all of like the holiday medleys and the fall medleys and the pumpkins and the pickup truck and the camper. They're so everybody cute. should be making this. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I should be making it. All right, Emily, do we have a winner of our Go Weather Vane die? We absolutely do. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Patricia Keys from Louisiana. Patricia, congratulations. We're excited for you. All right, our team's gonna reach out to you, Patricia, and we're gonna send you the Weather Vane die. We would love to see your finished projects with us. All right. Next week, join us um, on Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time. We're going to look at our newest dye to try for the month of October. It is the Go Cornucopia dye. And I know we always talk about how it looks like for fall, but yesterday's show we had some other ideas like with spring colors. Um, and again, that bundle that had, it finishes to 10 inches. So the bundle had the pineapple dye and the um, cornucopia dye and the courtyard dye and chimney sweep. chimney sweep die, and then all the mats for it. Today, if you're looking to upgrade to the Go Big, you can get that Go Big and Cornucopia die for $599.99. We're gonna ship it to you free, and you would get a free Go Me. Sure would. Sure would. Absolutely. All right, quilters, <laughs> on behalf of our entire team, we have Morgan offsite. Leslie's actually in the other room. Uh, Nick's upstairs in the studio today. I have Brock and Justin and Joe, and of course, Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.